so good day and evening or oh, afternoon yes yeah good um, good afternoon it's it's very interesting because last smwcon we had a talk about the embassy of good science which covered the topic of uh, ethics in science and you are now covering the topic of sustainability in science so i think that's uh, very nice and i'm very interested in your presentation the floor is yours too. yes uh, thanks very much for having me um in fact i was looking very jealously towards uh, the embassy of good science when we just started out so my um, talk today first i have to uh, share the slides um here we go yes um so when we first started out using um a wiki i was very um glad to see some media wiki conference and i was kind of thinking man in a year i might be able to uh, present our, our case and see how far we got and what i report today is more or less um about our still ongoing process which is very exciting and um so my agenda is today, I hope this is going to be a rather quick um, quick talk. Um, just a quick tour through the wiki, there's nothing special happening, um, nothing esoteric yet. Um, I want to give you some overview of the project itself and maybe why um, a wiki and especially semantic wiki was so appealing um, throughout the process, the project, which by the way, never planned um, on having a wiki um, in the end. And then, just a brief outlook on what we are thinking about right now. So in some reflections that I think could be interesting for people in the same situation as we were, which was basically just dabbling our way into it with nothing really planned in the project. And um, so there were a few lessons learned and I'm, I'm, uh, we were talking about, uh, earlier about um, newcomers and onboarding. And um, I consider myself to have been one of the newcomers and so, yeah, I think there's a lot of potential in, in our field. Okay, um, let's get right into the quick tour. So with uh, MediaWiki um, 3.5 um, page forms, we use a lot and page schemas I uh, learned to love. And it's now on shared hosting before it was on our university um, server. And I would like to just quickly um, show you something so you can have an idea um what what we are about i get the chrome tab this is it so looks um it's still some more design to be done and what we um wanted to have is we have some standard um content and guidelines and how to uh, make universities more sustainable and we wanted them at some point to be we, we want to filter uh, them so what we basically ended up it's one of the reasons why we got into semantic media wiki uh, just to facilitate that which was um just great um so you can see there's a very very simple um filter as standard view uh, we can select some content type let's pick a practice example and um uh, that's one of the main main things that we want to exploit and then as we went on a uh, new users um sort of joined uh, our work in the wiki, they voiced um, the need to actually know what others are doing. So we have a strong network emphasis in the process, in the project. And so we use the um, user pages to convey some more information. And then you can also um, filter for topics like who's interested in general ethics, for example, and um, then you can reach out. And one particular thing that was very important and we saw that with some basic sub objects it was what are people doing right now so you can sort of edit your user profile and then see so uh, who is actually um, working on things related to one of the hub events that we have say innovative teaching and then we find what these people are doing and who it is so you see uh, not many um, users sort of joined the wiki on, on that level yet but we, that's one of the things we're working on so let's just um have a look at my user page. This is basically how it looks. Um, we have a little map up here. So later when it gets more crowded and we hope it will, we can sort of see who's in our area. And then further down, we, we have the um, uh, current activities. So that's basically what it is and what we really need. And we're quite happy with it. Um, and where like in the network section where the music is at right now is um, 
the hub events of the um, association that was founded to carry on with the project and where we just collect meeting minutes and try to have this um, as a hub to sort of branch out new new content. Um, one of climate neutrality has been a new um, issue that's been very popular. I think we had some 70 people in the first um, hub, but yeah. So that's pretty much what we're doing with it right now. And you can also uh, already see that there's a lot, lot of work to be done still. So I just changed back to the slides. Okay. So I want to just um, give you an overview of what the project actually was or is, uh, was, it's over, but um, we carry on. So it was a project, um, a research project trying to find um, valuable or actionable knowledge on, on how to make uh, six fields of actions around higher um, education institutions more sustainable. And also right from the get-go, a networking platform. Um, so it was all, always a very important issue to build a strong network of engaged um, people and institutions who take responsibility in this, in, in this field. So it's sort of an almost activist um, um, mindset here. So we really wanted to, to get things um, going. This is the project in a nutshell. So we had two phases. I only joined in the second phase with my colleague um, when actually the creation of the guidelines were already done. So the idea is that higher education institutions basically have six fields of action from research, teaching, third mission, like transfer and reaching out, also governance, operations of um, facilities, for example, and also reporting. Now, along these um, topical fields, um, guidelines were created. And guideline, as an English word, it suggests uh, more st structured things than it actually was. Leitfaden in German is, is a bit more open. So we present some good practice. Um, and, and in the second phase, then, we took these guidelines and tried to implement some of it, test it, and synthesize um, all of them into one document. This is where the wiki came in. And along all those phases, um, in the first and second phase, there were a lot of networking events, um, sometimes within one of the fields of action, sometimes across um, some. And the result of that was um, two more working packages who took care of coordination of the whole project and the networking. And they ended up filling um, a map of Germany with um, partners who, who engaged in the same topic, who were not part of the project, but who are also willing to take action at their own universities. And this is really where the wiki came in, because um, there was a discussion on how to summarize all of that. And um, so everything then got into the wiki. And I just, the, when the project ended, um, an association was founded to, to go on. And I get to that now, because the development of the wiki, that was a really interesting process. Uh, in the first, when I entered the project with my colleagues, there was a discussion going on about the actual final dissemination. So how, how will we present the um, actual synthesis? How will it look like? And everything was on the table from actually just uploading one big PDF uh, or printing big book uh, that may just share the fate of so many um, handouts in some drawer or uh, you all know this, maybe a website, or an app that was discussed. I don't know what they meant, um, but everything was on the table. So um, at a later discussion, they ended up with, oh, we need a smart structure and uh, because we have different target groups and it can be quite convoluted. So at this time, um, we, we just dabbled along and tried, uh, tried a wiki. And um, when we wanted to filter, um, I looked for options to do that and came across semantic media wiki. And then sort of the whole dynamic um, took off because at one of the project meetings, um, the pandemic hit and we couldn't have our project meeting. So that was, we had to use what was there and we had the wiki. So that sort of pulled in our um, project members into the platform um, where we could uh, discuss these things. And one of the discussions that we had there was about funding because there was a big network already there, but the funding was quite sure to be discontinued. Um, so it wasn't clear how this network would survive. Um, so again, the idea of the wiki just got a lot more interesting. We, um, oh, by the way, maybe someone uh, 
we'll find out what these red um, numbers um, are about. I will come back to that later. Um, yeah, but maybe someone has a clue. <laughs> yeah, pandemic, exactly. So, um, and some, so in a strange way, suddenly, or not suddenly, but the wiki became, just by to dabbling into it, the um, anchor for disseminating um, um, the synthesis of, of the project. So at the next, like these reddish um, uh, things are actually the big joint project meetings um, where we then started um, teaching workflow how to insert pages. We then started to paste um, uh, our content from the guidelines into the wiki. And then here, the decision was made a bit earlier, but um, a foundation was founded, um, the German Society for Sustainability and Higher Education, who took over the wiki and all the project um, uh, contents, which is um, member funded. So individuals and institutions can become a member. And um, this society is organizing online hubs where people get together and share experience, which is pretty much the idea of the wiki and everything should be there. And yeah, now we are adjusting, finding out what, what people need and try to make this a valuable uh, platform tool. So um, what we're trying to do is basically two things. The most important thing is to reel in the user. The users. It was not so straightforward, straightforward as we thought, um, because people subscribe to that map that you see in, uh, right here, um, but we want them to be in the wiki and, and to start sort of a flow of information between, between these nodes. And the second thing is we want to ontologize that knowledge, which is more tricky doing in a community than I thought, but that's, uh, th th there's a great potential there, and I get to that bit in a, in a second. So we have a lot of design to do, read in the partners, um, refactor some of the content. We have very long pages, which makes it difficult to sort of organize these, these bites of knowledge um, in a meaningful way to show up in the filter. It's all after the fact, basically, that we have to figure that out. And internationalize, we were asked a lot, so is this a, can we sort of translate maybe or, or put this um, into context of um, international work because all over um, the world, universities and higher education is trying to sort of adapt to the um, challenges of sustainable development. And I think ontologizing what we do is, is one way to do this because then the wiki could be replicated in other countries and still contribute to one knowledge graph. Maybe. That's what we're thinking about. And so reflecting on, on that journey is quite, now looking back, it's quite startling that a wiki wasn't always there in the first place. Because if you if, just read the proposal the other day, um, the first one from 2016, as everything there was basically screaming for a wiki and, and screaming for this kind of knowledge sharing technology, but it just didn't appeal to us or the people writing the proposal at, at the time. And, and it's really a great potential there. And then I'm <laughs> kind of embarrassed to say usability matters. Everyone knows this, but we had dealing with this situation is quite, I find quite tricky because if I look at successful wikis like fan wikis, for example, that have a lot of interactions, I think you're dealing with a situation having a lot of wiki enthusiasts and then amongst them you find relevant domains that, that need writing or like in Wikipedia. What we're dealing with is we have our community and it's just skewed or biased in the way it is and we want to make them wiki users or even more make them semantically aware of, of structuring the knowledge and experience they have. Then one reflection that I'm thinking about this a lot, um, bottom up or not to be, what I mean by this is we tried many times to sort of get the interested people to work out something like an ontology for us. Back then it was just, you know, I presented the idea of semantic triples and how semantic media wiki is implementing them to get them to tell us what in their particular domain or field of action what they need, so how they structure the, the things they found out. It didn't really happen. It, it, it seemed that the, it, we only got into that once we started actually dragging them in the wiki and, and, and started creating pages. And then what we found, and this is also startling in many interviews and workshops across the fields of action, but in, I was working in the work, work package of uh, research. We got this so many times. What holds you back? to sort of um, make, make more sustainability happen at the university. We don't know who's doing what. We want to find out who is uh, working on which projects and how to do certain things like 
climate neutral mobility. But then when it comes to um, sort of providing this information, the, the, the posture changes to, I will tell anyone who asks, but there's some, some um, reservation to just go out there and sort of put it, put it on the wiki. And it's also about anecdotal knowledge because in the end we want to, um, it's, it's all about action and, uh, and experience and, and in which context it, it works. That's what we want to know. And it's difficult to get people to just by themselves um, talk about this uh, on a web page, basically. And then one, because we just stumbled into using the semantic media wiki and media wiki, um, some unforeseen um, events like the pandemic really drove us. It was a good thing for the wiki, it really threw us off um, many like sketch or anything and everything but it really got at least our or some project members into thinking everything through in the wiki and um also that um the funding was going to be um cut for the future it was the same and so i was talking to ad in the beginning and he asked me to think about things that might interest the developers like features and I think that we left a lot on the table. If I say what I would like to see, I already know that there are examples out there that we just have to sort of implement. Um, but one thing I want to stress, like how important online tutorials were uh, for us, and I will go back to those red dots. These were actually YouTube tutorials um, on your Teaching Semantic Media Wiki page. And they were so timely, I, beyond belief, um, we really, I'm sure we're smart enough to figure it out reading the documentations, but these were just in time to present the actual potential in the next meeting. So, so without it's there's a good chance that we might not, be, I, I might not be talking about our wiki if it was for those um, uh, tutorials right now. I'm thinking about new users and onboarding. Um, anyway, I found that funny. Um, so thank thanks, Mr. Ben Fletcher, for these videos, and then. What I'm going to have to do a lot the next months is really um, the refactoring and also um, ontologizing. And I love page schemas. It, it makes a lot of work so much easier, but still it could. It, I find myself then um, changing the form um, source code when I want um, categories uh, to be um, output. And so, I could imagine like this on steroids would, would really, really help. I, I find myself writing little Python scripts to serialize the XML that I can then just, uh, just copy because it lets me work in tables. And I will watch this talk about um, the spreadsheets. So yeah, and some, some automatic inheritance when I think about subcategories, it would be so nice to just have the um, parent class or parent category to just put the, um, in, like the fields um, into the subcategory as well. That that would be like when I'm talking about meetings and several kinds of meetings. So that that's what comes to mind in terms of features. But um, we're just getting started. So yeah, I hope that was a bit interesting. Um, thank you very much for your attention, and I'd love to answer questions if there are any. Thanks a lot, Stilo, for your great presentation. I think it was very interesting. Uh, my experience is also that uh, my use cases are rather not uh, about ontologies or semantic web at all. People are not aware of it, but wants mm. to see what what can be done with it, then they are interested. So yeah, yeah. thank you for this. Um, I don't see any questions yet in the chat. Clapping hands, that's nice too. Clapping hands, yeah. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. Well, if, if there's anything, you can always reach out to me. I'm definitely sticking around. And if there is some um, use of sort of creating some, some of these tutorials on body, <laughs> because if I think of, of projects um, of my colleagues, there's a big potential in, in our sustainability field because everybody's talking co creation. It is, I don't think even in the analog world that there's a more natural way of co-create co knowledge than, than actually in a wiki. And so that would be very interesting. And yeah. 
Okay. Yeah. Yaron is looking for help developing page schemas yeah, features. So if maybe only I could call. I, I <laughs> saw the discussion yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, maybe one day. Maybe I don't know. But yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, thank you. Before thank I leave, um, I'm getting all emotional, but this is a, such a great community. I really enjoy it thoroughly. And thank you all, like the developers, for, for making this possible. And um, yeah, it's great. Great to have you.